What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We are back again with some brand new WWE action figure news. And to be honest with you, I wish I would have had this news yesterday for the Ultimate Fiend figure that we talked about. But today, guys, we have a brand new WWE action figure playset that Ringside Collectibles has posted. And you don't even believe it, Brad. It is none other than an NXT War Games playset. It's pretty much what it is. It's an NXT... NXT... What the hell are you saying, Brad? It's an NXT TakeOver War Games playset as you can see on your screen it looks pretty damn sick i'm pretty impressed with it the only thing i will say is that it is two basic rings it is not two elite scale rings it is not two you know real scale rings or whatever you want to say about the you know the the what is it the the, the wicked cool toy style ring it is going to be miniature so that is kind of unfortunate however it is possible to have nxt war games matches or war games matches with your figure so that is really really big i think this is excellent we're going to go through all the features we're going to take a closer look at it and describe it to you guys so on this nxt playset guys you will see here here on the box here it looks pretty freaking cool i love the box you got finn balor jumping off with a coup de gras up there you got keith lee you got adam cole kevin owens you got roderick strong it looks like on that ladder down there or through a table i can't really see that then you got velveteen dream tomaso champa johnny gargano pete dunn everyone represented in here uh, i love the box i think it looks six with the war six it looks sick with the war games on there you got the wwe logo you got the crash through the cage it says twice the rings twice the mayhem guys just crashing through the ring and stuff like that so this ring is going to be similar to i would guess like the smaller elimination chamber that we saw back when and not even that scale though it looks like it is going to be smaller um if you guys have ever seen that elimination chamber that has like the chambers that can break and stuff that's kind of what it reminds me of and it is okay you know you could still use parts of this you got it looks like you are going to include a short ladder, a tall ladder, a table, and a steel chair. Not only that, but it has an operational door. It has, you know, little spaces in the cage where you can get thrown through it. In this other image, you can see here it's, it has Keith Lee. It's got Finn Balor in there. It's got the same characters pretty much, just doing different things. So, and it added Ricochet, the network spotlight Ricochet. That's, uh, I mean, it's I mean, it's still cool. I think pick fetters and people who want to use it for action figure matches can still get some usage out of this NXT playset with the War Games. One thing I will say about it is that I will not be using it for the... You guys know that after My Damn Nation, we're going to do the NXT... Not NXT. I keep saying NXT. I feel like NXT has to go before War Games or something. We will be doing a War Games pay-per-view, and I will not be using this. I'll be using uh, two actual... like They're going to be real legitimate, like real scale ring steel cage playsets, so I got to track down two of those and two rings, put them side by side and have the War Games match, but it's still really cool. I think this is still going to be excellent. I don't know if it's going to be ringside exclusive, Walmart exclusive, Target exclusive. I would imagine that you could probably find it at all three locations. If you guys want to pick this up, it will be on Ringside Collectibles where you can use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But as far as retailers go, with Toys R Us not being around, I think that Mattel has said in the past that it's difficult to, you know, release playsets similar to this. It's hard to get playsets like this out because certain retailers aren't going to want this crazy playset where you know the average consumer of toys or you know you go down the toy aisle people aren't going to want to spend eighty dollars a hundred dollars or sixty dollars on a playset they're more looking for unless it's like a birthday or something like that they're looking to just get a ten dollar basic or a eighteen dollar elite or a twenty dollar elite you see what i'm saying maybe a few more dollars for like the collectible items such as entrance grates and stuff like that but as far as a playset is concerned that goes to be uh, uh, you know, Toys R Us and Ringside and places where that stuff is specialized, where people go specifically hardcore collectors and people who are searching for the higher priced items or items that, you know, just a typical person going down the aisle wouldn't typically want. So this is uh, still pretty cool, though. I think it's pretty cool. I think that any pick fetter could still get usage out of it. I have seen many pick fetters use the smaller elimination chamber on a basic ring. I've seen people put on five star classics in a basic ring. So do not think that you are contained to whatever you have. I actually have seen some pick fetters and stop motion people that just use a homemade ring that is made out of freaking cardboard and stuff, and they put on some good matches and still quality. So it really doesn't even matter the size of it or anything like that. You could still do some cool and creative things with some basic rings and stuff like that. 
and you can do all kinds of stuff. And I think that people are still going to have a lot of fun with this. And I can, uh, I, I actually want to review it. I want to take a look at it, see how it would actually look in the full thing. If you look on the packaging, it kind, it looks massive. It still looks really big because uh, you got, you got the ring contained by the two cages. If you look in the middle, it's kind of interesting. It looks like they have like a steel plate or something that goes between the rings. And I'm wondering if it's going to be two separate rings that come completely separate, so you could have like two different rings in the same arena if you wanted, or can you, uh, does it have to go together, you know what I'm saying, so that will be interesting, um, it doesn't look like, at least from this angle, it doesn't look like you're going to be able to, or maybe you can, I see the little connectors at the top, maybe you can put on one steel cage match if you wanted to, if you just wanted to take off one of those walls and then put it in the middle to contain on one ring to do a steel cage match, maybe you could do that, but it doesn't look like it's going to come with any figures either, which is usually one of the features on a figure set like this, usually they'll throw in, you know, like a random Keith Lee or something like that into the packaging or, you know, a big time guy, uh, Finn Balor or something to put in there to, you know, help sell the thing or whatever like we've seen in the past with that one basic ring. It came with the NXT TakeOver, the end Finn Balor. I think, wasn't that a steel cage playset or something? I can't remember. I'll pull up images in the video. But uh, you guys can see here that we are getting a War Games playset, and it looks pretty freaking si sick. I, I wish I had the back of the box. I don't know why I don't have the back of the box on here. I would have loved to have seen the back of the box so that we could go over the features. But all I have for you now is these images. And if we get anything else, I will definitely let you guys know. But again, I wish I would have had freaking... When I posted the Ultimate Fiend thing yesterday, I would have loved to have seen that. But Ringside also posted up this right here, which is a basic AEW ring. And uh, it looks pretty freaking sweet. It's just like any other basic WWE ring. But it is the spring-loaded, you know, basic rings that Jax used to give us, that Mattel has given us. You got Kenny Omega and Chris Jericho on the packaging there. You get, you know, the basic stuff that comes with a basic ring, but it's pretty cool. And then, of course, we do have the AEW World Championship in the toy version, which looks pretty cool as well. And I would have definitely gotten this as a kid. I always used to get the figure cha the figure championships. I used to get the mini championships because I used to jump off of my house, do flips off it, uh, get my ladder. I would have ladder matches and mock ladder matches and bailing off my house for championship titles versus this little stuffed frog I used to have that was like legitimate body size i know you're thinking like a frog wouldn't it have like its legs spring loaded and like underneath and big it was not like that it was like a standing up grown frog with a bow tie on i used to beat the hell out of him and win championships all freaking day and me and my friends would beat the hell out of each other and we would have uh backyard wrestling matches i wish i had like pictures and stuff all this stuff i might somewhere but uh, that that's besides the point. But these these AEW championships do look good. I would have definitely grabbed them and defended them in the backyard if I was growing up as a kid right now. And I'm sure my son will probably end up getting some of these too as he grows up and stuff. And uh, that is pretty much it, guys. That is the playset, the NXT TakeOver War Games playset. And I would love to know down in the comment section below what you guys think of it. I think it's pretty cool. Again, it's not Elite Scale or anything, but... Maybe uh, we can work on that or do something. I'm not going to use it in MDT pick fed. Like I said, I want to get the actual real scale big version because I got to have all the space I need. Because, like, I used that elite scale elimination chamber for Hell's Gate. And I needed, like, if I would have used a basic, I would have went absolutely insane had I had to use a smaller version of that elimination chamber in that in that uh, Hell's Gate pick fed. I've seen people do it, and it's amazing that people can do that. And shout out to those people that can do that. I am not one of those people. I need all the space I can get. And getting in there with the camera and doing poses and stuff, I need extra extra space which is why my arena is so massive but that is all the news i have for you guys showing this off if you guys have any questions or anything like that let me know down in the comment section below are you going to be grabbing this nxt war games ring play set let me know down in the comment section but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you